and, and I mean, in the end, I found my wife as well, she works out. And it all comes down to what do you feel success is in your mind from a health well, you know, it's interesting to use the word success in this context. Um, it reminds me of a conversation I've been having with patients in my clinic lately. Mm -hmm. I, I've taken to asking folks, what is health for? It's very easy. You come see a, a doc like me, and obviously you go see the doctor, it's about your health, and you either want to get healthy, recover health, fix health, maintain health. And my career was all about health, so it's very easy to think that health is the prize. And actually, health isn't the prize. Living is the prize. Living the way you want to live, having the life you want to have. So I've been reminding patients, health is like a currency. It's like a special bank account. You can spend it on living. And if you fill that bank account up, you can just do more of the stuff you want to do. You've got more of that currency to spend. So you're absolutely right. You know, I think if we think of health in the service of success, and if we think of success as having a life you love, you know, being able to live the way you want to live, and remembering that you know, the real value in health is that healthy people have more fun. They really do. And that's a message that certainly resonates with kids. Then you're absolutely right. So you know, the reason that health matters so much is because it will help you have the life you want to have, which means you never get so obsessed about a health goal that it actually prevents you from having the life you want to have. And, you know, my, my patients who have issues with certain kinds of exercise or so forth, we talk about that. Look, let, let's remember what this is about. We're, we are looking for that sweet spot. We're looking for the place where the benefits you're getting out of this clearly outweigh any of the liabilities, whether it's time commitment or how it makes you feel. It's, it's about success. It's about living well. Healthy people do have more fun. That's why health matters so much. No, you're absolutely right. You know, my son once asked me, you know, Daddy, why do you work out so much? And, you know, my answer to him was, you know, I want to be able to do all sorts of things in life and I want to have the energy and vitality and endurance to do them. And if I don't take care of myself now down the road, it's going to be that much more to get into it, you know. Um, and he understood from that perspective because he he was trying to make a higher level hockey team, and he came to me and he said, you know, Daddy, I really want to make this team. What do I need? What do you think I need to do to do it? And I looked at his size and everything, and, and we came to a conclusion that we need to we need to exercise to get him stronger, to have more endurance, because if he could. Regardless of size, if you have more endurance and you're faster to the puck, you can show the coaches that you're a better hockey player than a person, say, for example. And, I mean, it worked. He, he made the rep level this year. And, um, Congratulations. Really, I, I know for you yeah. Canadians, that's a big deal. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little it less obsessed down here, but uh, congratulations. Yeah, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I mean, it is. It's, um, you know, it, it's a massive... Um, accomplishment. He's 12 and he's accomplishing these feats all the time. And, um, you, you know, for us as parents, it's, it's exhilarating, it, it's exciting, and we just have so much pride in it because he's the type of individual that when he wants something, he understands that there's sacrifices that have to be made. You know, like you said, um, you know, going to a gym, sorry, my, my earpiece is coming out, going to a gym, you might not have enough time. So, you, but, but you take 40 minutes every morning, no matter what's going on, and you devote that to your exercise time. And I'm okay. sure yourself, just like everybody else, some mornings when you finish that 40 minutes, it's a little bit of a rush to get caught up on what you could have done because we all have so much work to do. Well, well, this morning was an example, Dan. I, I yeah. just got off the elliptical before our interview and uh, did the best I could to <laughs> wipe the sweat off my head so I didn't look too disheveled here. Um, yeah, you know, I think there, there are trade-offs, and, and um, I guess there really are two key points. You know, one is that worthwhile things generally take effort. We all know that, and we've all learned that. When it comes to weight or health, we tend to forget about it. It, it, it interests me that every responsible adult recognizes the need to invest in their financial security. We take care of our wealth. doesn't mean we're wealthy, but it means you know we recognize I've got to look toward the future, yep. cultivate my, my, my wealth, if you will. 
Um, and yet we're neglectful of health, which ultimately is more important. It doesn't make any sense. So yes, um, health is one of those things we need to invest in. The return on investment is generally incredible. It fully justifies the effort, but there is effort involved. That's one. And the second point is that yeah, there are there are trade offs. So you know, if you spend more time exercising, it does make it harder to put time in other things. And we all need to try and strike the right balance in our lives. Uh, I will shorten the length of a meeting if it means I can fit a workout in. I, you know, I will. And it, of course, it helps the more autonomy you have in your life. I mean, if, if someone else is in charge of your schedule, it can be really tough. And again, that's why I think we need programs. We have a program called ABE for Fitness Activity Bursts Everywhere, which is available for free online. Any, any internet uh, connection will get you there, computer or smartphone. And the idea is, you know, some people really, you know, have a schedule that makes it tough to exercise before or after work. So we created a program where they can exercise at their desk throughout the workday. I think we need to devise all those kinds of tools to empower everybody to have the opportunity to get to the prompts. Because, you know, I, I work very hard. I work long, long hours. Um, but, you know, I have the benefit of being in charge of my own schedule. You know, and most of the things I do, I'm the boss. Uh, and that gives me a level of autonomy that, that really does help out. So I can make exercise a priority. You know, I, I hear from some of my patients, it's a very different scenario. You know, they're boxed in by rules that tell them when they need to be where. And, and I think they need a different set of tools to get the same job done. But that should be our, our collective obligations to produce that toolkit so everybody has an equal opportunity to get the prize.